diagram is a, a general structure for considering psychology as a whole, as a discipline around the world, and for a, way, for a, a convenient way to consider cultural variations in, in all periods. Eh, este es un diagrama de una forma general de considerar la psicología en todo el mundo y de ver eh, una forma de, de acuerdo a los aspectos culturales de una forma de tal. The two axes here are assumptions about the importance of, of the cultural context and the possibility of commonality in human nature. Three major theoretical organizations. In summary, in brief, is the cultural context important? The second one is, are there commonalities in human nature? Let's take a look at these four different quadrants. The first one, the cultural context is not important and there are no commonalities. En el primero no es importante el contexto cultural y no hay aspectos comunes. Uh, that means that there's no possibility at all for social or cultural explanation. O sea, no hay ninguna posibilidad de explicación sociocultural. And it, it suggests something like uh, a scientific nihilism. Es como una especie de nihilismo científico, de decir nihilismo científico. Or, or something, uh, something that might even be called scientific energy. O algo así que se podría llamar anarquía científica. The second one is the cultural context is not important and there are commonalities in human behavior. El segundo es cuando el contexto cultural no es importante pero sí hay efectos comunes en el comportamiento humano. That's, that's, el absolutismo. that's the framework known as absolutism. Mm -hmm. Así es, el marco teórico de que se llama absolutismo. Behavior is the same every place you go. El comportamiento es el mismo en todos los lugares. And the only thing different is some very superficial things that appear around the world. Very superficial things. O sea, que lo único diferente son cosas muy superficiales que aparecen en el mundo, pero muy, muy superficiales. The third is, uh, the third one is uh, the area of relativism. Yes, the cultural context is important. And no, there are not any commonalities. El tercero es el relativismo cultural, en el cual sí hay un contexto cultural, es importante el contexto cultural y no hay ningún tipo de aspectos en común. The fourth, the, 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 this is called, uh, the, some people refer to this as the radical cultural relativism. <coughs> Alguna gente se refiere a esto como la perspectiva radical del relativismo cultural. Anthropologists have been here. Uh, many, many cultural anthropologists have been here. The fourth one is the idea of universalism. Yes, the cultural context is important. And yes, there are commonalities. I think this position is absolutely unacceptable. I think this position is also unacceptable. Personal opinion. This position is acceptable when you consider extreme detail of human But this, this one is where uh, cross-cultural psychology seems to believe.
to the question, are there similarities, or have been trying to answer the question, to what extent are there universal categories of abnormal behavior? Dice que los etnopsiquiatras y los psicólogos clínicos durante muchos años han estado tratando de responder a la pregunta hasta qué punto hay efectos universales en la conducta normal. There tends to be agreement that four dimensions of abnormal behavior can be found everywhere. One of these, this first dimension is affective expression or display of mood. The bipolar extreme Extremo bipolar low to high, de bajo a alto. and therefore you have this idea of depression or mania, or in many cases, manic depressive disorder. Los extremos patológicos son depresión, amanía, o de trastorno maníaco depresivo. Apparently, every place psychiatrists and anthropologists have studied, they have found affective disorders such as depression. Parece que en todos los lugares que fueron estudiados por los antropólogos y los psicólogos se encontraron desórdenes afectivos tales como la depresión. The second one is organistic expression. Y la segunda es expresión orgánica, organística. That is bodily or verbal expression. Que es expresión corporal o verbal. The bipolar extreme are relaxed to tense. Los extremos bipolares son relajados a tenso. And the pathological extremes include the idea of neurosis, which is associated with Freud, but these days it's associated with clinical psychology because uh, Freud has been uh, 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 too closely associated with uh, neurosis has been too closely associated with Freud and a kind of uh, Disregarded as a term. Sí, dice que eh, neurosis, el, el extremo patológico sería neurosis, eh, o más correctamente estado de ansiedad, y dice que el término neurosis ha sido sumamente vinculado a Freud, por lo cual el término hoy en día está un poco desacreditado. The overall idea here is that there, there never has been a culture without a uh, some segment of the population without a certain amount of anxiety. <coughs> and there never has been similar, there's never been a society where there are some people who are extremely relaxed. In fact, in the Western world, these two disabilities account for approximately 80 to 90 percent of all psychological disorders. Dice que en realidad en el mundo occidental estas dos dimensiones dan cuenta de aproximadamente 80 a 90 por ciento de todos los trastornos psicológicos. The third one Tercero, considers uh, the, the perceptual cognitive for example, visual, auditory, and thought process. And here you have the bipolar extreme of the consensual, or the, or the totally idiosyncratic. And of course, this dimension is on the various types of schizophrenia. Y ahí están las varias formas de esquizofrenia que son la, la, los extremos patológicos. And the fourth dimension concerns social behavior. La cuarta dimensión se refiere al comportamiento social. Uh, the bipolar extremes again are reliable and appropriate versus unreliable and inappropriate. Los extremos patológicos y los extremos bipolares son, por un lado, confiable y apropiado versus no confiable e inapropiado. These include personality disturbances, so-called 
character disorder and antisocial behavior. Esto abarca trastornos de personalidad, desórdenes de carácter y comportamiento antisocial. And, and this is uh, this is where uh, medicine, law, and psychology can intersect. Ahí es donde inter intersectan la medicina, las leyes y la psicología. There are some problems with this perspective. Now, this is again a universalistic perspective, but there are some problems with it. Sigue siendo una perspectiva universalista, pero hay algunos problemas con esto. This, as you may recognize, is based somewhat on DSM-3. Sí, como ustedes reconocerán, esto está basado bastante en el DSM-3. Vale, parte. And, and therefore, the assumption of universality and maybe even absolutism is there. Así que ahí es evidente la, el supuesto de universalismo y tal vez hasta absolutismo. The psychiatric diagnostic system developed by Emil Finkler in Germany. El sistema diagnóstico psiquiátrico desarrollado en Alemania por Emil Kreppelin. And uh, promoted by the American Psychiatric Association and also the other classification systems by the World Health Organization. Sí, que está promovido por la American Psychological Association. Psychiatric Association, la Sociedad Psiquiátrica Norteamericana, y también el, el sistema de clasificación promovido por la Organización Mundial de la Salud. Has been diffused. They have been diffused throughout the world. They have been trans claro. transmitted throughout the world. Ah, se ha difundido todo el mundo, ha sido transmitido al mundo. And the question to be asked here is that fair and acceptable and scientifically honest. Entonces la pregunta es, ¿es justo, es científicamente honesto, es correcto esto? The second problem is sí. similar to the first. Segundo problema se parece al primero. The exportation of Western psychiatric institutions throughout the world. La, la, la exportación de las instituciones psiquiátricas occidentales a, a través del mundo. For example, I... I, I know colleagues, I have talked with psychiatrists and others who come to the United States from Africa and who learn about DSM-3 and other forms of psychiatric classification in the United States and then go back and try to interpret behavior there thank you, uh, on the basis of that system. Yeah. Eh, dice que conoce colegas de psicólogos y psiquiatras que vienen de África a Estados Unidos y recién en Estados Unidos conocen el DSM-3 y otros sistemas de identificación y luego vuelven a África y tratan de implementarlo en ese lugar. The third problem is the widespread imitation of symptoms and complaints presented by patients from countries that are in the process of modernization. They eh, sí, eh, él dice que eh, es muy, está muy difundida la imitación de síntomas y quejas presentadas por pacientes de países que están en el proceso de modernización. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. Dice que lo va a explicar. Coca <risa> 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 con imitación. Yeah. But what do you mean by imitation? I mean, the symptoms, the symptoms are imitated in different countries. Yo le pregunto si lo que quiere decir imitación completamente. It's it's typical. It's it's common for somebody to uh, for somebody from say a third world country to imitate the symptoms or to imitate the behavior of people from the uh -huh. so-called first world because it gives them more prestige. Claro que es como prestigioso en nuestro país del tercer mundo imitar la conducta de los países del primer mundo. So that, that's another problem. Okay. Well, that's, that's the area number one. I, I want to go to the other. Sí, es el área. Secondly, is... Uh, Una pregunta, eh, eh, eso de la cocalización, 
Coca-Colini. Coca-Colini Social. Eh, ¿Qué es? A nivel de la consulta, según él lo visualiza, eh, frente a un requerimiento en, eh, a un eh, prestador de salud o en los sectores eh, gobernantes o de poder o dónde? He said, You mean that people, when they come to consult, uh, psychologists or psychiatrists or whatever, or in the power level, or, or I mean, this kind of symptoms, when you see those symptoms? Yeah, for example, they may learn, they may learn that it's, uh, that it's uh, better and they result in quicker action, quicker uh, treatment. If they present symptoms that are recognized by a psychiatrist or a psychologist from, uh, from the West. Ajá, o sea, piensan que a lo mejor van a recibir mejor atención o ser más atendidos más rápidamente si presentan un síntoma reconocido por un, la psiquiatría del oeste eh, occidental. Okay. Que uh, que es ¿Puedes dar un ejemplo de eso? No, well, tu inglés es bastante bueno. An example of uh, An example. Uh, what you have just said. Yeah, for example, one of, the, one of the examples in the United States is that uh, in the mental health care insurance business, a person will get uh, attention only if he or she, a person from the underclass, for example, American Indians, Chicano, or, or perhaps Chicano, or perhaps uh, Black American will get attention only if they uh, uh, give complaints that are consistent with uh, different categories of insurability, the insurance. Claro, dice, por ejemplo, eh, para estar en el sistema de seguros, ¿no? En Estados Unidos, una persona que es, bueno, chicano, negro, de, digamos, de las sociedades menos privilegiadas, digamos, eh, solamente va a ser atendido si presenta síntomas que entran o caben dentro de una de las categorías planteadas por las instituciones de seguro. Hay un like an article of consumption, okay. mental health, I mean, the symptoms are... Como si fuera un artículo de consumo, el, the, the, it the, becomes a bit like a... People, people, may, people may say things that will, uh, go to not necessarily true, but they get them transferred. Claro, la gente dice cosas que no son a lo mejor verdaderas, pero que logran ser atendidos más rápidamente y plantearlo de frente. Dice, se vuelve verdaderas después. No, se puede encontrar. Notice that uh, that this uh, idea of focus colonization. Uh -huh. Esta idea de colonización. Uh, suggests that uh, suggests that maybe a, a totally uh, relativistic idea would be would be hidden. Yeah, uh, okay, uh, uh, you know, uh, can I make a comment on what you sure. say? Uh, yeah, in, 19, in 1990 there was a study on the uh, mental health status of the Puerto Ricans in New York City. Uh, it was a survey done by uh, Warnacha and other people in which they uh, found out that the real state of mental health that, that they had couldn't be assessed because the categories that were being used were the ones of the DSM-3 uh, and not the real categories of the community, which were, for example, Estado de Nervios, uh, some other states which uh, were particular to that uh, cultural group. Yeah. That was published in the American Journal of Psychiatry in 1990. That's a constant problem with, uh, with groups who are not native to a particular culture. Because what, what it really gets to is something extremely important from the point of view of cultural relativism. Oh, wait, wait. Bueno, eh, lo que yo le dije es que en 1990 en el American Journal de Psiquiatría se hizo un, uh, un, una revisión del de, uh, estado de salud.
de la población puertorriqueña que vivía en la ciudad de Nueva York y se encontró que eh, los datos epidemiológicos que se publicaban eh, corrientemente no concordaban con el nivel de consulta, con el estado de salud de esa población. Y lo que analizaron estos investigadores es que lo que se usaban eran categorías exógenas, el grupo cultural, eh, categorías como él decía, el DCM3, y lo que estaba pasando en la comunidad eran otras cosas. Eran cosas que no estaban siendo contempladas por esas eh, categorías nosográficas. Entonces había una discordancia y ellos lo llamaban una colonización científica, ¿no? que vendría a ser más conocido de la coca Y lo que dijo es que es un programa constante, con grupos que no son nativos de la cultura dominante. The problem is one that anthropologists have been discussing for a long time, and the problem is functional versus diffusion, functionality versus diffusion. El problema, el problema que han estado discutiendo muchos los antropólogos es de funcionalidad versus discusión. That is, do, does human behavior, including abnormal behavior, emerge in a culture all by itself, with no influence from outside sources, or is it diffused from, from outside sources? O sea, la pregunta es, ¿el comportamiento incluso no normal, la normal, viene de una cultura solo por sí mismo o viene porque ha tenido una influencia, o sea, por la discusión de otras culturas. Si we find, por ejemplo, en those four dimensions, si we find good evidence that depression, and schizophrenia, and anxiety, and antisocial behavior emerge within the country by themselves, the good case for universal. Él dice que si nosotros encontramos en un país que la depresión, la esquizofrenia, el comportamiento antisocial y eh, la ansiedad emergen solas por sí mismas en esta cultura, es un buen argumento para el universalismo. Next one, this is another area now, the second area. Segundo área. This is in the area of, of stress and coping and acculturation and those kinds of things. I won't spend too much time on it because I understand what John Barry was saying. Mm -hmm. He talked about that. Eh, bueno, ese es el área, Pakistán, ahora me voy a ver. Ese es el área de estrés, afrontamiento, eh, aculturación y demás, que dice que no habla mucho porque cuando yo no me había hablado de esto, pero yo le digo que bueno, no todos estaban, no todos lo escuchamos. Bueno, por decirlo, no todos lo escuchamos. Um, this is a... Uh, a categorization of situations re requiring coping with an unfamiliar culture. Esta es una categorización de situaciones que exigen afrontar una, una cultura no familiar. Uh, there are two broad categories. Hay dos grandes categorías. Where you actually have ge geographic locomotion. Sí, locomotion geográfica. Trasladar a otro lugar. And the other one is non-locomotion. No locomotion. Están en el mismo lugar. The next, the next, uh, uh, under, the, under the first category of geographic locomotion, you have two categories. Sojourning and settling. For example, in sojourning, you have such people as, as uh, business representatives and journalists. Por ejemplo, en el estar con un tiempo, maybe you can put it in more because they can see. Cuando estar por un tiempo, tenemos categorías como representantes de negocios, periodistas, estudiantes turistas y demás. Por ejemplo, I am now a sojourner in Argentina, temporarily. Él es ahora un turista. I have traveled a lot. Uh, but at all the time I travel, there's a certain amount of stress and strain. I'm sure that part of my temporary illness is due not only to the hustle and bustle of a very large city, but also certain amounts of difference. So my 
My body and my mind are moving to a minor scale. Sí, dice que él, eh, cada vez que él ha viajado mucho y cada vez que viaja hay un cierto grado de estrés y de peso, digamos, de tensión. Y que él está seguro que el problema que tuvo chico que como enfermo se debe eh, no solamente al hecho de estar en una ciudad muy grande y todo lo que eso significa, sino al hecho del de, eh, grado de diferencialidad, digamos, que hay entre, bueno, el ambiente de la presentación. The other category, the second category, is settling. La otra categoría es instalarse en lugar. For example, a voluntary immigrant. Inmigrante voluntario, por ejemplo. The way I understand Argentina, Argentina is descending from both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah now we are descending from the uh, descending. Yeah. Uh, eh, dice, bueno, que el chiste ese que dice que los argentinos vienen de los barcos. Yo digo que ahora venimos de las fronteras, digamos. We have uh, refugees. Uh, captives and slaves. Captive, cautivos y esclavos. Uh, refugees and captives and slaves, many of whom have been tortured. Claro, muchos de los refugiados, cautivos y esclavos han sido torturados. For example, two weeks ago I attended a, a conference at Harvard University which dealt with the coping, the coping strategies and coping styles and coping problems of people who were Uh, refugees as well as severely tortured. There was a whole one day, a whole session dealing with these psycho, the psychological treatment after uh, after people were tortured. Dice que en Harvard hace dos semanas se tuvo otra conferencia y en toda la conferencia trató el tema de los refugiados y de los eh, sí de la gente que viene de otros países y que ha sido torturada de cómo se puede hacer el tratamiento psicológico a las personas en esta posición. De cuál es el tipo de tratamiento. Under the under the second big category of non locomotion, you have subcultural mobility, segregation, and changes in society. Dentro de la segunda gran categoría que es no locomoción tenemos eh, movilidad subcultural, segregación y cambios en Changes in society. You have social class mobility. Está la movilidad de clase social. Retirement. El retiro, la jubilación. Is it true in Argentina uh, that, uh, as it is in the United States, that uh, a process within two years after a man retires from his work, his chances of a heart attack go up by something like 800 percent. Dice, pregunta si en Argentina es cierto como en Estados Unidos que dentro de los dos años de que un hombre deja su trabajo, se retira, se jubila, sus chances de tener un ataque de corazón aumenta como un 100%. No, 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 la segunda categoría que estamos dando segregación prisioneros de personas que están en una orden religiosa que están en el geriátrico residentes en el geriátrico y después los cambios en la sociedad colonizados Or occupied, un país que es colonizado o ocupado a, a natural disaster, o desastres naturales o, o digamos es, social disorganization such as a coup, desorganización social como un golpe uh, innovation and modernization, innovación y modernización fashion changes, cambios de moda de la moda the, uh, the overall idea here that people have uh, what are the, what are the Uh, one of the major frameworks that people have used in this area Uno de los mayores marcos que la gente ha usado en este área is something I'm sure you are familiar with. Algo que supone que conocemos. The familiar Celia uh, curve of uh, stress. La curva. Stress. What's the, what's the, uh, In Spanish, it's a reacción de adaptación. Yeah, the general adaptation syndrome. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, people who study acculturation, stress, adaptation, use this as a general model. 
Y que la gente que estudia aculturación y usted es titulado a esto, usa esto como modelo general. It's too simple to be to cover all categories. Es demasiado simple para cubrir todas las categorías. But at least it starts with uh, something very important. Pero aquí está por lo menos para algo muy importante. Whenever there is change, siempre que cambio, there's it, there's an alarm reaction. Yeah. Hay una reacción de alarma. At least people are sensing something different. Al menos la gente siente que hay algo diferente. And uh, the, that's followed by this. This long stage of resistance. Después esto sigue, se sigue por un largo estado de etapa de resistencia. And of course, the stage of resistance depends upon how you define stress and how the individual defines stress. Y por supuesto, este estado de resistencia depende de cómo define uno el estrés y cómo el individuo define el estrés. And the, the final one, then, if, 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 if you cannot adjust to the stress. Y el último, si uno no puede ajustarse al tren, um, there'll be a stage of exhaustion, habrá un estado de including, estar exhausto, including, de agotamiento, uh, total demoralization, incluyendo total desmoralización, uh, uh, y aún la muerte. Many people have died because they could not handle the so-called psychosocial stresses. Mucha gente ha muerto porque no podía manejar los estrés, el estrés psicosocial. You know, a comment on that. Uh, today in the papers, uh, it appeared that in Argentina, from uh, no, in Buenos Aires, in the Great VA, from the beginning of the year till today, 525 people committed suicide. Of which, in which country? Here, in Buenos Aires, in Greater Buenos Aires. 525 suicidios. Desde el principio del año hasta ahora, en Buenos Aires, el Gran Buenos Aires. He, uh, and the police. Uh, which are the ones that make the uh, statistics, uh, the reports and the statistics, say that uh, about 50% of them are due to desperation on account of the economical situation. Yeah, I can, I, I can believe that. Especially retired retirees, all people are committed to suicide because uh, in the last three months, 17 uh, retired people committed suicide. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are teenage males more likely than most teenagers? No, of course. Yes. Yes, there is also teenagers. But nowadays the problem is uh, mainly uh, in the media, it's more about the recreate because uh, they, they get very little money. Uh, in America, United States, I shouldn't say America, this is also. Yeah, it's a cultural line. <laughs> in the United States. Dijo America, in America, pasa tal cosa. Dijo, no debería decirlo. Black suicide is extremely high. Black Daniel May. And the black, uh, it's astonishing about the, uh, the rate of aggression, the rate of murder amongst uh, involving black Americans between the ages of 15 and 24. Dice es impresionante la, la cantidad de asesinatos y de muertes de asesinato que hay entre la población blanca y negra de entre 15 y 24 años. Es 8000 veces la tasa de muerte de blancos. De, de, del mismo grupo de edad. Es I think it's the second cause of death of a person at that age, no? Person. Es la primera causa de muerte en esa edad, yeah. el asesinato. Yeah. And it's related to the socioeconomic status. Y se debe a la situación económica. I think on the, in the, in the area then, a universal, a universal, mm -hmm. uh, area universal. that fourth cell, mm -hmm. la cuarta. what you have then, I think it's kind of a common denominator around the world. Hay un denominador común en el todo el mundo is the, the relative disparity between a certain group and the rich group, the, the haves and the have nots. O sea, la gran dispari la disparidad relativa que hay entre la gente it's, que tiene y la que no, o sea, un cierto grupo y el grupo más rico. It's, it's a social, it's a social contrast. It's a social psychological contrast phenomenon. Es un fenómeno de contraste socio-psicológico. Yeah. And uh, many people, uh, uh, balanced theorists, Heider, et cetera, et cetera, have tried to point to that, to point to relationships. And when you have these terribly imbalanced relationships, you're going to have those kinds of statistics. 
probably every place. Fíjate, realmente todos lados hacemos bien, así que están mal balanceadas, se van a tener este tipo de estadísticas que estamos hablando. Many people have studied stress and their relationships. Uh, this is something that just interests me uh, from the point of view, my being in Argentina, but it relates to the area of stress. Dice que esto se relaciona con el área de estrés y muchas veces estudiado. A él le interesa particularmente al estar en Argentina y pensar esto, pero tiene que ver con el área de estrés. Here's where you get a good, care, a good balance between universal and relative. Universal is and relative. Acá dice que al encuentro un balance bastante bueno entre universalismo y relativismo. You're familiar with the Holmes and Ray social readjustment rating scale? ¿Alguien este tiene, conoce la escala de eh, reajuste social? Reajuste. Social readjustment rating scale. Uh, this point was chosen as the, uh, the event that everything else was, uh, was judged from. Dice que el concepto de casamiento fue considerado como el hecho a partir del cual se enfocaba la semana. Por ejemplo, le dice, uh, we will give marriage uh, 50 points. O sea, le ponemos a casamiento 50 puntos. Y si look at all the other events and assign anywhere from 1 to 100 points to all the events. Y vemos todos los demás hechos y les ponemos entre un hecho. Now what they found was that uh, with this well-known list of uh, scores, again, this is relevant for the United States, and it's even questionable whether it's totally relevant for all of the United States. Death of spouse was considered to be number one. Divorce number two. Divorce segundo. Mental separation number three. Jail term eh, number separa four. Separación, separación de pareja de tres. Eh, pasar tiempo en la cárcel cuatro. Uh, jail term. Sí, jail term en la cárcel. And then death of a close family. Y la muerte de alguien familiar muy cercano. Los pequeños. They further suggested, more, more importantly, they suggested that if somebody accumulates <coughs> more than 300 points in, in uh, no more than 12 months, <coughs> that the, uh, the stress would be severe enough to increase by about five times the chance of a, of a coronary. El, el, el va a ser tan intenso que eh, aumenta cinco veces la chance de tener un ataque coronario. This gives, this, this gives uh, uh, external validity to the idea of the exhaustion stage of the general adaptation stage. Claro, esto le da una validez externa, pero en este sería al tema este de la, de la curva que vimos antes de la etapa de agotamiento. So, in, in the United States, if you do not if your, sp if your spouse dies and you uh, get thrown in jail and you get remarried and you get fired all in the same year, then you're finished. Goodbye. <laughs> That's the end. Se vuelve a casar. Se vuelve a casar. This has received many criticisms. Methodological criticisms. I don't want to go into them, but there are many problems with that particular methodology. But it nevertheless has been a, a good start in the area of studying life stress and uh, health problems. Dice que si bien esto ha sido bastante criticado, especialmente desde el punto de vista metodológico, de cualquier manera ha sido un buen principio para estudiar todo el tema de estrés vital y eh, situaciones estresantes en general. Sí. Lo que habría que ver es que no, digamos, en esta escala, no todas las cosas le pasan a todos. 
ser persona que, claro, por ejemplo, claro. una, una persona que sola, pero si tiene las cosas por ahí no le contesta si no tiene país. Claro, no, también ¿no? el tema o sea, es que no acumula estos puntos, ¿no? No. Claro, porque si es el lugar, no hace el país, no se va a decir que no se va a Pero cuando pasan muchas cosas a uno, ahí. Yo creo que técnicamente se puede contestar. Most of those, yeah. most of those things don't happen there. Most of those big things never happen to somebody until later on. Sí, la mayoría de estas cosas no le pasan. Why? 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 It was what is known as a dating council. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to do that. No, lo que dice es que muchas veces muchos investigadores descubrieron que no eran los grandes eventos, los eventos cataclísmicos, digamos, los que realmente salvaban a la gente, sino los problemas de la vida cotidiana. Preguntas usted lo que son, le dice. One of the reasons for, for big events not helping that many problems is because there's a tremendous social support network. Sí, una de las razones por las cuales a veces estos eventos no causan tanto efecto tan terrible es porque hay redes sociales de apoyo. But there's no social support network for being late for a bus or for a taxi, etc. So they can chip it. Chip away at you. Dice que no es que, que, que bueno, puede haber redes de apoyo para los grandes acontecimientos, pero no hay ninguna red de apoyo que lo ayude a uno si perdió el ómnibus, si llegó tarde al trabajo, o sea, y todas esas pequeñas cosas son las que a uno como que lo van negociando. Pero a veces se llama el método de Chino, que de tortura. Sí, sí, la gota, la gota que orada, a little bit more sophisticated uh, way to look at this is uh, the, the life stage context and where you consider uh, a number of inter interrelated variables, for example, the life event. Then you have uh, marriage, widowhood, new job, accident. Then you have uh, mediating variables. For example, marriage may not be very stressful to somebody at all, but maybe it's a bit of time. <laughs> Dice que el casamiento puede no ser demasiado estresante para alguien porque ya es la quinta vez. Or will or will might be very happy again. <laughs> la viudez puede ser un acontecimiento muy feliz también. <laughs> or an accident. Or an accident might be... Uh, An accident might be a very happy occasion too, because you don't have to work for it. Un accidente puede llegar a ser un hecho positivo, es que te dice feliz, pero usted no tiene que trabajar durante dos años. Depende del chat. Digo, depende de qué tipo de trabajo uno hace. And the social security system. Y la seguridad, el capacidad, el día y 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 el día no, what is expected is not so stressful, it's much more stressful a widow food uh, for young people than a widow food for a grown woman, for one woman, for example. Claro, que lleva que es mucho más lo inesperado. Otras variables mediadoras, salud física. Somebody's intelligence. Si alguien tiene inteligencia, puede ser mejor educado. 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 Sí, hay un nuevo concepto de Estados Unidos que, que, que habla mucho en los journals. La personalidad fuerte sería Harvey como resistente. 
they are la personalidad just, resistente. They're just able to survive like a. O sea, como que pueden sobrevivir. Like a cucaracha. Like what? Like a cucaracha. Like what? Like what? Like what? Yeah. Claro, en la exposición neobotánica en realidad, las plantas, Harvey, se le dice que plantas. A number of research, a uh, number of recent research articles have shown cultural variations in the uh, social support network. Que hay muchos artículos últimamente que han señalado las relaciones entre las redes de apoyo social que tienen la gente de diferentes culturas. Uh, for, for example, in the uh, in so-called selective cultures, en las culturas más colectivistas, uh, the social support network is usually much better. La escucha mejor la red social de apoyo. Then you have, of course, the, the big one, I suppose, the very large one, income. Claro, después está todo el tema de los ingresos. So you get, so, so you get. Uh, what you call collective? Uh, collectivist, that's, 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 that's the next topic, right? The adaptation process. El proceso de adaptación. The appraisal of threat. How you look at it. How you, how you uh, process the information. Como uno procesa la información acerca de la amenaza. O sea, como uno valora la amenaza. Coping strategies. Uh, you mentioned about the Argentine suicide rate. That's a coping strategy. It doesn't work because you only do it once. But each culture has its own coping strategy. Each culture has its own coping strategy. Then you have adult development, developmental uh, uh, changes and so forth. Then you, uh, the, the overall, if you consider the entire socio-cultural, social, historical, cultural network or content, sí. how, how things could typically have been done in a particular place. Y todo esto tiene que ver con el contexto socio-histórico y cultural, o sea, cómo, la, cómo se acostumbra que se hagan las cosas en un determinado lugar. Uh, I want to give just one or two uh, examples of what John Berry's work is all about in, in, uh, in dealing with individuals who are adjusting to new cultures. Dice que va a dar unos ejemplos del trabajo que hace John Berry sobre los individuos que se están adaptando a nuevas culturas. For example, consider a group that is a, a group of people who are adjusting to a new culture, refugees, migrants, various types. Dice que bueno, consideremos un grupo que está tratando de ajustarse a una determinada cultura diferente, como refugiados o inmigrantes de distintos tipos. He hypothesizes four different kinds of acculturation. First, is, is it considered to be a value to maintain cultural identity and characteristics? The second is it considered la identidad y las características culturales. Pero si es valioso para el grande o es valioso para el, el, el del grupo minoritario seguir manteniendo sus propias eh, uh -huh. características culturales. ¿A qué se refiere? Claro, cuando migra o cuando está en otra cultura. Para el grupo migrante, because what happens with the culture? Where it, is, it, is, it, is, it means it means uh, both That's the individual and the culture, but primarily when a group comes into a group a group comes into a group a group a group a group a a group 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 a
Sí. O sea, esto se refiere para la persona que llega, que sea inmigrante, si para él es importante mantener... Sí, para el inmigrante, cuando, cuando cambia de, de ámbito, para él, sí, como sí, representante sí. de un grupo, es importante ¿no? mantener su identidad y su característica sí, cultural. Sí, sí. Pero hay una pregunta. La cultura mayor, el valor sería que el inmigrante se adapte. Claro. Ese es el dato, esa es la pregunta que viene a ver. Sí, sí, sí. Por el mayor no. Well, for the main culture, is it, uh, it's, uh, what happens, is it important for them that the group, the new group, adapt? It's, it's another question. It's another question. It depends on the, uh, the policies of the, of the majority government. Claro, depende de las políticas de la cultura mayoritaria. I'm thinking about the very Canada, which is a special case. Which is a special case because there's an official policy of multiculturalism. Claro, yo me estaba acordando de Bernie porque él trabaja en Canadá y entonces él, Canadá, tiene una política especial en referencia a esta situación. En realidad, dijo Bernie que en los últimos cinco años había tenido problemas. Sí, sí, claro, pero digamos que ya ahora sí. Y quiero preguntarme si hay ninguna distinción entre importancia y riesgo. Porque yo puedo considerar importante, pero puedo considerar riesgosa, también más peligrosa. Claro, no. ¿Qué es eso? No. No, he said that if, uh, what's the relationship between importance and uh, risk? I mean, it can be uh, important for me to maintain my characteristics, but it can be risky. Yeah, it can be risky. It can be risky. It can be risky, especially if the, if the culture to which people are uh, acculturating doesn't want to marry. Claro, dice que puede ser riesgoso si se trata la, la cultura a la cual las personas están llegando, es una cultura que no quiere que esas personas lleguen ahí. Y en realidad lo rechaza. Es muy peligroso mantenerlo. I'll just take this off for, for a minute and show one more thing and put this back on. Uh -huh. Va a poner primero otra cosa y después vuelve a poner esta. What you have is, is, is uh, uh, our, our culture A is the, is the dominant group. La cultura A es el grupo dominante. However, that dominant group might be defined. Sea como sea, uno lo defina. And then the culture B is the acculturated group. La cultura B es el grupo que está acculturado. Then there's that first time, that, that first time contact. Contacto por primera vez. First time contact. This uh, uh, dominant group might have had other groups contact with it in the past, but for this group at least, it's the first contact with this group. El grupo dominante puede haber tenido algún contacto con el grupo que se está culturando en el pasado, pero para el grupo que se está culturando es el primer contacto. So what you're dealing then with is this, this is contact, this is group B, contact group, and this is also group B. Este sería el grupo B y el otro también. So you got to consider to be a value to maintain cultural characteristics. So second question is, is it considered to be a value to maintain relationships with other groups? La pregunta 12, ¿se considera valioso no mantener relaciones con otros grupos? Y luego you got yes and no for both questions. Thus you can have, uh, you can have total, you can have total integration. Se puede tener integración total. Where they want to maintain their identity and they, they want to maintain good relationships with the majority culture. En cual quieren mantener identidad y al mismo tiempo quieren mantener relaciones con otros grupos. This is the, this is the ideal. Eso sería el ideal. Porque todos los grupos piensan que quieren mantener su identidad. Eso sería un tendencia muy fuerte en el ser humano a querer pertenecer a un grupo. Eso sería muy fuerte. 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 Eh, sí, en el de la historia. No, en el billete de uno. De muchos uno. From many one. That's right. But in fact, what has happened is that it's quite the opposite. The people want to have their own identity. Que en realidad sucedió lo opuesto. La gente quiere tener su propia identidad. So the the original goal for the United States was to have complete assimilation. El objetivo inicial original de Estados Unidos es tener asimilación total. Y ahora lo que ahora debemos esperar es poder llegar a tener una feliz y completa integración.
You can see that I've noticed on the newsstand, the uh, Time magazine from the United States, the, the new Time magazine cover, the cover story deals with uh, the current state of America, of, of, uh, of uh, minority groups within the United States. Sí, dice que en la, en la, una de las últimas revistas Time, el tema de etapa es eh, cómo está la situación actualmente con los grupos minoritarios en Estados Unidos. Uh, one, uh, this complete separation. Completa separación. I, I, I want to maintain my own cultural identity, but I don't like the majority culture. Es cuando uno quiere mantener la propia identidad, pero no le gusta la cultura mayoritaria. Well, maybe, maybe it's that you don't like the other culture, maybe it's that you want to be separated. This, this is uh, the most familiar case these days mm. in the world is probably the uh, separation movement in Canada with Quebec wanting to break away from the other country. They want to break away, they want to retain their own their own language, their own food system, and so forth. And in fact, Canada is now in danger of becoming two or three completely different countries. Including Quebec, the rest of Canada, and then and, uh, British Columbia. And what if a person or a group does not want to maintain cultural identity and does not want to identify with the majority group? This is the this is a very stressful case. It's been called marginalization. It's also been referred to as uh, under the theory of the marginal man, which was a concept developed by uh, Stonequist in about 1925, or maybe even earlier, the idea of the marginal man, the person who is without a country, without a race. Dice que, bueno, cuando no se quiere mantener la propia cultura, ni, ni se quiere eh, asimilarse y relacionarse con otros grupos, llegamos a lo que es la marginalización, que es un concepto que, que habla del concepto de el hombre marginal, el zombie, que ya
En realidad estuvo mucho tiempo relacionado con gente de IBM, no con IBM en particular. Es el Hercule. Oh, yeah. Good. He had an M of 117,000. Tenía un número de sujetos de 117,000. Mid-level managers. Gerentes de nivel medio. In about 40 different countries. En 40, más o menos, 40 países. Based upon a technique that he called. Uh, Ecological correlations. Él usaba una técnica que se llamaba correlaciones ecológicas. He claims to have found four main factors or values that can be useful in describing how different cultures do things differently from all other cultures. Él dice que le encontró cuatro dimensiones en las cuales se puede evaluar cómo ciertas culturas hacen las cosas, valores o dimensiones en las cuales se puede evaluar cómo las ciertas culturas hacen las cosas diferentes de otras. En otras palabras, lo que Paul Shetty está diciendo es cuatro valores o dimensiones, cuatro dimensiones en las cuales, eh, digamos, la gente hace las cosas diferentes. O sea, sería como, eh, esta dimensión sería lo ético. Y luego se expresan en forma ética y nada. Por ejemplo, let me just go to another area of psychology that, um, that might build a bridge between the two. Most of you are familiar with factorial structures and intellect. Sí, la mayoría de ustedes este, eh, conocen las eh, estructuras factoriales de la inteligencia. No intelectual. Por ejemplo, Wexler and Wexler, ya, ya. suggest suggest uh, this one and then this one and so forth and so on. Sí, los distintos factores que forman la inteligencia. Sí, Vector. Well, this is, this is somewhat the same idea, suggesting that four different dimensions, four different value dimensions, uh, can separate, can be useful in describing how cultures Deal with others, deal interpersonally, uh, perceive the world, and so forth and so on. Dice que hay como cuatro dimensiones de valores que pueden describir cómo en las diferentes culturas las personas se relacionan con otros y se relacionan interpersonalmente y demás. First one is power distance. La primera es la distancia de poder. And one of the questions, for example, is how frequently in your experience, does the following problem occur? Sí, la pregunta es cuán frecuentemente en su experiencia ocurre este problema. Por ejemplo, el emplea los empleados que tienen miedo de expresar sus desacuerdos con sus jefes. Employees being afraid to express their disagreement with the managers. In other words, how much Psychological and social space, interpersonally, it is there a culture between the supervisor and the supervisor. Okay, what For example, some cultures there are there's very little power distance between boss and, and worker. They're on a first name basis. They go to each other's house and so forth. Dice que hay algunas culturas donde hay un poco de distancia entre el jefe y el subordinado. Se visitan, se visitan. En otros lugares es muy grande. El segundo lugar es la evitación de la incertidumbre. Y la incertidumbre es la extensión de la incertidumbre. A culture must be run on the basis of rules. Sí, o sea, es, es, eh, hasta qué punto una cultura tiene que ser manejada en base a reglas. La cultura necesita reglas para manejarse. ¿Hasta dónde? It's sometimes people have called it the search for absolute truth. There is one and only one way to do things. 
Muchas veces se llamó la búsqueda de la verdad absoluta, o sea, que había una pistola, una forma de hacer las cosas. The third one, and the most important one. La tercera, lo más importante. In fact, it's, it's sort of equivalent to the G factor. Equivalente al factor G. It's really important, and in fact, it's been the, the one that's studied most extensively. It's in the individualism. And it's, uh, like all of these, it's, it's considered to be a, a, a continuous variable. With some people being highly individualistic. Ciertas personas son altamente individualistas. Y algunas culturas son altamente colectivistas. And uh, the concept of self and the concept of what you do with self is strikingly different uh, in collectivist, uh, collectivistic versus individualistic countries. El concepto de self y lo que uno hace con el self es que eh, Marcadamente diferente en estos dos tipos de culturas, individualista y colectivista. Por ejemplo, pongo este slide aquí. Pone por un momento el slide y lo pongo de vuelta para un ejemplo. Here is how a self is uh, typically viewed in a highly individualistic country. En una cultura sumamente individualista, es así como se ve el self. Typically, the self in, in the United States, for example, is identified as the person en Estados Unidos, por ejemplo, el se identifica con la persona and his or her own very close small number of family members y su propio pequeño número de miembros de la familia the, the, the father and the mother and the siblings all of them they're, they're sort of a it's, it's sort of like Society in general is this circle. Sí, eh, digamos, la la sociedad en general kind of merges with many other people. There's a, a, a much more pervasive uh, social support network. There's much more closeness. Uh, for example, I, I don't know a great deal about Argentina, but uh, Latin American and South American countries general are considered to be much more collectivistic than for example the United States. At least at least on the superficial level and you can see some of these things operating in the streets of uh, Buenos Aires. For example I see much closer to the there's much more informed, there's, there's sort of a, there's much more touching. There's considerably more uh, uh, public displays of affection. Uh, there's probably more uh, people go around, people uh, go to parties in large groups. La gente va a fiestas en grupos más grandes. Um, there's more of a tendency for people from neglected countries to look out for their parents until until they until the parents die. Incluso en los países más colectivistas es común cuidar a los padres que se mueren. Much, they, they were much more likely. They were much more likely uh, stay within the neighborhood. Uh, when do you use the term collectivistic? 
Because I think it's, uh, sociologically it has a very specific use. Yeah, yeah. And perhaps you're talking uh, more of a collaborative type of uh, a society or a closer knitted community or uh, some other type of thing. But collectivistic is uh, so specific. That's, that's really a good question because it's, it's connected with many other different concepts. Uh, for instance, uh, here, here, here you go back again to the idea of universalism versus relativism. Uh, David Bacan recently wrote a book called The uh, The Duality of Human Consciousness. And he said that all people, all people have two senses. Two senses of consciousness. One is a sense of agency. We don't have. I've seen in the United States they're working a lot about this, but I haven't seen it here in the translation. This is essentially individuality. Que es individual, es, es un concepto esencialmente individual. In other words, you have the, the power and, and the, and the uh, uh, ability to do things on your own, for your own self. <coughs> o sea, uno tiene el poder de hacer cosas por sí mismo y para el propio, para, sí para uno mismo. Es un tipo de power. Es un tipo de power. Es un tipo de power. ¿Has oído el término free agent? Sí, ser como una gente libre. Ser uno mismo libre. The other one is a sense of community. El otro es el sentido de comunidad. Then we all need, we, we, we have both things. All people have both a sense of agency and a sense of community. Todas las personas tenemos un sentido de agencia y de comunidad. And how you deal with cultures, how you describe cultures, it, uh, depends upon the, the blend of the two. For example, the United States is very highly individualistic. Japan, with some exceptions, is very highly collectivistic. With many countries, of course, in between the two, and as I said, the other day, the, the other day we talked about the normal, the, the different curves involved here. This is individualism. Right now. I have to get that around it. In a highly collectivistic country, you're going to find some people who are highly individualistic. En un país altamente colectivista también vamos a encontrar gente que son altamente individualistas. Holstead suggests uh, 
guarding against what he calls ecological fallacy. Dice que hay que tener cuidado con la falacia ecológica. Dice Hobbes. For example, that Argentina should be characterized as highly, as somewhat collectivistic. It would be, a, it would be an error, a psychological and sociological error. Dice, por ejemplo, si Argentina fuera calificada como algo colectivista sería un error arqueológico. Ah, además que eso sería un error de decir que todos los argentinos son colectivistas. Pero generalmente lo que la idea de la cultura de la mente is a culture preferring one state of affairs over another state of affairs. O sea, acá está el tema de la idea de que la cultura programa la mente. Y en realidad de lo que se trata es de un tipo de situación y otro tipo de situación. I'm not sure I understand what well, you mean. Yeah. You mean it's not the idea of culture programming the mind. Yeah, it is the idea. Uh -huh. The value. A value that culture has is the a value of programming the mind in one particular way rather than all other cultures. Ah, uh, o sea, lo que dice que en realidad el valor de la cultura es de programar la mente en una dirección o en otra. O sea, el valor que tiene la cultura es lo que hace la cultura, digamos, es programar la mente más en una dirección que en otra. I have a I have an article here, by the way. Uh, by uh, Shido Ukidiyama and Rose uh, Marcus from the University of Michigan, a uh, uh, soon to be published article dealing with uh, uh, a comment on the self as a cultural frame, uh, implications for international and international language psychology. This is an article from Shido Ukidiyama from the University of Oregon and Rose Marcus from the University of Michigan sobre concebir el CEL como un marco cultural, las implicaciones para internacionalizar la psicología. Categorías de idea de feminidad versus masculinidad. Uh, not, not in the sense of real sexuality. Gender, no en el sentido de realmente de la verdadera sexualidad. The, the, uh, the tendency for people, for a particular person or a particular culture, to do things in kind of stereotypic uh, feminine or stereotypic masculine ways. O sea, la tendencia de una cultura a hacer las cosas de una manera estereotípicamente femenina o estereotípicamente masculina. This is very debatable. I don't know if it's possible to characterize uh, either individuals or cultures as masculine or feminine. Sí, esto es sumamente discutible. Eh, no sabe si realmente podemos clasificar a la gente en masculino o femenino. But at least, uh, for many years, anthropologists have, have found fairly stable characteristics associated with males and females, masculinity and femininity. For example, femininity has usually been associated with conformity, with nurture, with obedience, with softness, with nurturance, and those kinds of things. Mosa dice que durante mucho tiempo los antropólogos han visto en el comportamiento características femeninas o masculinas lo han clasificado así. En general, lo femenino tiene relación está visto como relacionado con el nutrir, el ser obediente, el nurture and obedience. Yeah, nurture and obedience, uh, uh, warmness, eh, calidez, motherness, mother maternal, maternal. Uh, other cultures, of course, have been described as kind of masculine, where they have uh, uh, aggression, authority, and disobedience. Ventriousness, power. Otras culturas han sido calificadas como masculinas, las culturas donde hay más agresividad, poder, eh, ser, eh, espíritu de aventura, 
Mexico is a very good example of a culture that is an often here in Latin America and highly natural you know. In other words, a highly masculine means that what is really cherished in Mexico is this idea of the peace Um, these different uh, host of values tend to go together. They tend to co vary. Yeah. Hofstede's analyses get kind of uh, complex. But for example, when you look at power distance on this axis, and uncertainty avoidance on, on this axis, what you find are kind of uh, two major clusters of countries. <laughs> For instance, here's Argentina. Argentina está ahí. On the basis of a, a sample of something like, this is something you want to comment on. This is where you can teach. Dice que espera que comente, que nosotros comentemos esto. The Argentinian sample. I think it was something like uh, 60 mid-level managers from Buenos Aires. And on the basis of that sample, and on the basis of all the other correlations he did, he's developed a statistical case for saying that Argentina is about in the middle on power distance. And uh, very low on uncertainty, somewhat lower on uncertainty avoidance, <laughs> meaning they don't care about rules. What is power distance? The extent to which you the extent to which there is distance between the boss and the worker and the way you want and you and the and, and, the, uh, and your uh, willingness to accept that in industrial psychology or, or in general, in general. This is both the general political uh, can be uh, yeah, can be general political See, if you notice here, something really interesting is happening. Uh, statistics are supposed to be neutral, right? And he gets the information from the people, from all the middle level managers, and he puts them in a very sophisticated computer. And what he finds when he's no sé si la distancia entre uno ve lo funciona. El primer supervisor es exactamente igual que el supervisor medio. Bueno, él habla de los que ven desde el I mean, he said that it depends on the distance between the worker, the supervisor, the supervisor, the manager, and the 
etc. And I'm telling that he's speaking about middle level manager, but the, the difference. But related to what? Middle uh, level manager related to what? The owner of the thing? Uh, the okay, the president of the company, worker. Uh, related to the. Well, both uh, primarily, uh, immediately uh, related to the, uh, the nature of how IBM operates. But, but the more important part is this. And here's the, here's the important part to, to look at from the point of view of methodology and from the point of view of uh, epistemology. Because what is involved here is uh, uh, a, a very large sample. But these people are a uh, but these people are fairly highly educated. They are highly selected by IBM from within each country. And therefore, they are supposed to represent each country's values, close quote. But what they might be doing, additionally, is representing a corporate mind that's universal. Exactly. Well, why country's values or uh, company's values or well, corporation values? Pero también representa una cierta mentalidad corporativa. Pero what you have to get in crossbow. Esto es universal. From the post, from the post, from the position of uh, methodology for doing research, you have to you have to make a compromise. You cannot have both total representation of a culture of values. And a total representative sample of those people. Because if you had a total representative sample, you'd have some individuals who can't even be. Yeah, and would be infinite. Lo que dice que realmente cuando uno hace investigación no tiene más remedio que hacer un cierto compromiso, porque no se puede tomar una muestra que abarque todos los niveles de toda la población. Pero hay gente que no puede ni siquiera, no sabe leer siquiera esa población. Sí, Yeah, the problem is that when you make cross cultural research, you have to find matching uh, samples, and that's very difficult to discuss. Very difficult, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 critical, the critical question here with regard to both status work is, uh, is this are, are the mid level managers in all countries representative of the values shared by their own country, by their own citizens? Are they good representatives of the value of the country? Sí, una cosa que realmente tenemos que preguntarnos, y que está indicada en este análisis de Foster, es si los gerentes en el medio son buenos representantes de los valores en general del país, etc. Yeah, that's why you need to have an ecological balance in the because of that. The interesting thing here, and this is where, uh, again, you get the play between universalism and relativism. It seems, it's inevitable, to me it seems inevitable, that you're always going to have this play between universalism and relativism. And here's what happens. Lo que él dice que es inevitable tener ese interjuego entre universalismo y relativismo. You've got these dimensions that are supposed to be universal. They probably are. I don't know exactly how they might be defined in 25 years. But it looks like Volkswagen has hit on some important topics. Dice que, bueno, uno tiene las dimensiones de Foster, y bueno, no podemos saber exactamente cómo van a ser considerados en 25 años, pero él considera que ha tenido, ha tocado Foster en puntos bastante importantes al elaborar esas cuatro dimensiones. Pero, considerando, considerando 
This group of countries analyzed blindly by statistics. The computer starts pumping the material out. And what you have within this group of countries here, three letter abbreviation. Italy, Brazil, Venezuela, Mexico, Colombia, Turkey, France, Yugoslavia, the former Yugoslavia, Chile, Spain, Argentina, Japan, why is Japan special? Because it's 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 paradoxical. It's it's, it, it, it's that way much of the time, but it also has this, it, 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 it deviates from the rest of it. It's it, because of the way in which it has, it's been uh, uh, confused with other dimensions. That's, that's the reason why it's circled, because it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a deviant case from the regular correlation matrix. Uh -huh. Dice que Japón está en un círculo porque es un caso especial, es un caso que se desvía de resto. Then, and then, then finally, uh, Portugal, Portugal and, and Greece. Grecia. Now, what do they have in common? ¿Qué en común? I mean, you don't find, you don't find, these are all, all or almost all below the southern, uh, below the equator. En general, está casi todo debajo del ecuador. En realidad, What do they have in common? It seems seems that there's some common themes right here. It seems, for example, uh, among other things that you can consider, it seems uh, very clear that if, uh, and maybe you could tell me from your own experience, Germany, way up here, High, very high on uncertainty of awareness. Muy alto en evitación de la incertidumbre. Everything in its place in Germany. Todo está en su lugar en Alemania. Very low on power. Very low on power distance. Muy bajo en distancia al poder. And uh, it seems that if a German, it seems that Germans are going to have a difficult time. Maybe the implications for culture living, culture training, soldiering, and so forth and so on. Sí, eso tiene implicaciones para la forma de vivir, la cultura, para incluso para las opciones de militar y demás. For example, the other day when we were walking by uh, the German embassy. I, I couldn't help wonder how they were, how, how the, the new German people coming over to, to work for two or three years were getting along. Because I, I know Germans well enough. My wife is from a German family and I have spent four years there. And I know Germans well enough to realize that I think most of them have a very difficult time living in South America. <laughs> Maybe they have a separation, separative yeah. attitude. Yeah, they have a separation, separative attitude. Yeah, they have a separation, separative attitude. Well, there are, uh, there are many other dimensions of, of, uh, of values. Ways to live and so forth. So there are probably about 50 or 60 different value scales that have been, that have been developed. Uh, I don't want to go into those right now. I'll go to the, the fourth topic. The last thing I want to mention before we take a break or before we leave for lunch or something is something that is currently very interesting cross-culturally. 
Dice que quiere mencionar antes de ir a la pausa que es la última. Ah, claro, se va a hacer. Sí, sí, sí. I think, from my own perspective, I think that uh, Argentina is a very complex culture. Él considera que Argentina es una cultura sumamente compleja. A very, because it's extremely, it, 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 it would take, it, it would take much living here for many years to understand all the different roles. Dice que tendría que llevar muchos años de vivir acá para realmente entender todas las reglas de la vida. Other cultures are much easier to live in. But all cultures have their own views of reality. It's instable. It's very ambiguous. Eh, dice que una de las dificultades de vivir acá es la inestabilidad, que justamente es un cuarto de ambiguo. Technique to use in 
many different cultures. In fact, there are many people who are so against DSM-3 that they are almost militant. Dice que en realidad le considera que este es un concepto bastante difícil para técnico, bastante difícil de usar en nuestras culturas y que incluso hay gente que se opone tanto al DSM-3 que es que como que milita en contra de eso. There's another group of people Otro grupo de gente. who, with regard to the idea of intelligence, Con respecto a la idea de inteligencia, who believe, for example, in this general factor, que cree en el factor de la inteligencia, that that's inappropriate. And thus, it seems to me to be really important and really interesting to try to understand the nature of the concept of such things as intelligence and depression from an from inside viewpoint. From inside viewpoint. Le parece muy importante que podamos entender conceptos como depresión e inteligencia de un punto de vista interno. These undoubtedly are universal as concepts. Estos como conceptos son universales. But but they also have uh, relativistic components. Pero tienen componentes relativistas. And how do you find this out? ¿Cómo descubre uno esto? Well, one example. Ejemplo. In, the, in, a, in a study that John Barry did along with some uh, colleagues of his uh, among the Cree Indians in Canada. Uh, este es un ejemplo que, de un trabajo que hizo John Berry con algunos colegas de los niños Cree de Canadá. Use the concept, use a, a kind of a card sorting technique to try to get an idea of how the Cree Indians can Cree. Utilizaron una técnica de cartas con cartas para um, Cómo repartir las cartas, digamos, cómo separar las cartas entre sitios para trabajar en el concepto. Want to get an idea of how the Cree Indians conceptualize intelligence. Quería saber cómo conceptualizaban la inteligencia los indios Cree. And these are the words using multidimensional scaling techniques. Estas son eh, las palabras que usaron técnicas multidimensionales, escalas multidimensionales, y estas son las palabras que usaron. He found, for example, two basic dimensions. Había dos dimensiones básicas. On the negative side are things like stupid and crazy. Aquí hay cosas como estúpido y loco. And on the positive side of this dimension are things like mentally tough, <coughs> lives like a white, which is kind of negative. Cunning, which is kind of negative. And this is the positive side? This, pardon me? Uh, you said this, that this is the positive side? No, no negative. Negative side. Negative. El aspecto negativo está, por ejemplo, eh, es mentalmente muy fuerte, eh, vive como un blanco, es astuto. But the important part here with regard to what intelligence is on the positive side. Que es inteligencia en, la parte, en los aspectos positivos. Is what the culture values with regard to competence and intelligent behavior. That is. ¿Cuáles son esos, los aspectos relacionados con un comportamiento competente e inteligente? Eh, respeta, es respetuoso, escucha, presta atención, piensa mucho y piensa cuidadosamente. It's, so, you get a better idea of the mental representation of how people. View the concept of intelligence. Cognitive maps. Very similar to George Kelly's notion. Because uh, essentially George Kelly was saying all of us are basically phenomenologists. We are all have our own construal of reality. All of us, all of us carry around on our heads maps of the universe. Todos nosotros tenemos en la cabeza un mapa de la del universo. Está construimos un mapa de la realidad. And one aspect of culture is the extent to which we have, as a group of people, the same kind of collective map, the same kind of cognitive map. Uno de los aspectos de la cultura es cómo, como grupo de gente, tenemos algunos aspectos, en algunos aspectos, los mismos mapas cognitivos. 
Um, in a very interesting study done by a man by the name of Spiro Manson. Un estudio muy interesante hecho por el señor Spiro Manson. Working with uh, different groups of people in the United States. Spiro Manson is a clinical psychologist and psychiatrist working in uh, the state of Colorado in the U.S. Uh, which deals primarily with prevention and, and treatment of Native American alcoholism. Este señor Manson es un psicólogo y psiquiatra clínico que trabaja en Colorado, Estados Unidos, el estado de Colorado, y trabaja más bien eh, principalmente con eh, nativos, con el alcoholismo entre población nativa de Estados Unidos, o sea, niños. Using the idea of depression, the concept of depression, he wanted to get a better idea of the cognitive maps. Usando la, el concepto de depresión, él quería tener una idea mejor de los mapas cognitivos de esta población. To do this, he used a technique Usó una that técnica. some of you may be familiar with. It's called Q-sort. Mm -hmm. Familiar with Q-sort? Okay. Eh, una separación de clases. Q, eh, uh, Q as in... Uh, P, U, A. Q, U, E. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, yeah, you, yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. Q stands for questionnaire. Yeah, right, and I don't know. Q stands for what? Questionnaire. Ah, the questionnaire. But uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be a questionnaire, it just means that you, you sort different concepts. Uh, you yeah, you know, no, 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 Okay. Suppose, for example, you put together, um, um, you get 100 or 50 little cards. And each card with one word or concept on it. Mandón, ayudó, eh, colaborativo, amable, bueno, impaciente, intolerante, demasiado ocupado, están locos, le tenemos miedo. Uh, no. By using free sorting, uh, ya te puedes usar eh, que lo vayas tomando así libremente. In other words, a free sort would be to take all these cards and you put them in, in as many different files as you want to put them in. O sea, uno puede agarrar las cartas y hacer tantas filas como uno quiera con ellas. And, uh, but each pile has to be, has, has to have uh, uh, the words or concepts that, that cluster together. Cada pila tiene que tener las palabras o conceptos que van juntos. Más cerca, están más cerca. Or you use the Q chart. A 50 yard sort would use the, the number of cards you put on each one of those piles 1, 5, 10, 18, 10, 5, 1, so you get the balance. Okay, okay, I mean, you ask the person to sort them in this way. Yeah. Okay, okay, le pide a la persona que las separe de esta manera. O sea, pilitas de 1, 5, 10, 18, 10, 5. And this one, for example, you'd say there would be one card would be most descriptive. Esta sería la más descriptiva. And the other card would be least descriptive. La menos descriptiva. And then five that would be fairly descriptive but not here. Cinco que serían bastante descriptivas. Five, five that would be somewhat less descriptive. descriptive. Que serían algo menos descriptivas. Y así uno. And the way things are. Are split by that. So either you, either you get the free sorting or cue sorting technique, you get a, an idea of how not only a person views concepts, but when you uh, when you uh, compile all of them, when you summarize all of them for a number of people, you get a kind of a collective cue sort. In other words, if I want to understand how. Uh, 
people from Norway understood the concept of depression, I would gather together a group of representative salmon of the regions and have them do a few sort or a free sort to get a better idea of their positive math. Sí, y después cuando las personas hacen esto, cuando muchas personas dentro de la misma cultura hacen esto, o sea, las reparten en forma libre o las ponen así en montoncitos como he indicado ahí, bueno, después uno tiene como un resumen de cuál, eh, cuáles son los mapas cognitivos sobre este tema que en la población en particular. Por ejemplo, bueno, si fuera un poco de noruego, si hicieran esto, bueno, sabríamos cuál es el mapa cognitivo que tienen los noruegos. No. When, when this, when Manson had groups of uh, American Indians Manson de Indians and white Americans y blancos, and psychiatric residents y pacientes psiquiátricos residentes en un uh, do the Q sort. Y les dio la Actually, sort, not, not, not really the Q sort, but the pre-sort. The pre-sort rather than... No, más bien dice que usó el pre-sort, o sea, que simplemente fueron poniendo las... A hundred cards. These are the uh, these are the mental representations of the of the Q sorts or the pre sorts that they use to uh, develop a positive map of depression. Estas son los datos de las digamos lo que usaron para la selección libre de tarjetas para obtener un mapa cognitivo de la depresión. Por ejemplo, they, they gave everyone this. They gave a los tres grupos les dieron esto. All three groups they did. The only they, they said they could make as many categories or as close or close as they wanted to. The only restriction was that they had to do it within 10 minutes. Dice que podían hacer todas las categorías que querían, pero la única restricción era que las tenían que hacer en 10 minutos. Now these are, this printing is fairly small. But here's one story. Here's another, here's another story. And here's, oops, and here's a third story. More complicated. So the first one, I don't want to, uh, if we had uh, more time or this was more visible, we could, we could just, uh, deal with this more extensively. Dice que si lo podíamos ver mejor, podíamos hablar más. But this, this sort, it was done by psychiatric residents. This was done by... Esto lo hicieron los psiquiátricos. University, the University of Denver, University of Colorado residents of psychiatry. And what, oh, perdón, no, 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 no. Los médicos que estaban haciendo la residencia de psiquiatría, no eran los pacientes psiquiátricos. And what this represents, if you could look at it in more detail, is very specifically the way DSM-3 breaks it down. Esto representa bastante aproximadamente la forma como categoriza el DSM-3. Fue hecho, repito, por médicos residentes de psiquiatría de la Universidad de Denver. Uh, you know, because I want to make a comment on what you just said. Uh, there is a line of research in Argentina uh, from this uh, uh, university, from this uh, school of uh, psychology, which is trying to investigate uh, which are the community perceptions uh, about the elements that determine uh, the factors that are uh, hazardous for health so as to create certain categories of uh, understanding which will be contrasted with uh, DSM-3 by a committee of experts so to, uh, to see whether the categories of, the, uh, of uh, experts or, or uh, psychiatrists are equivalent to the categories community has. Yeah. And so to see whether DSM-3 is appropriate for uh, dealing with community problems or not. Yeah. Uh, this is a work we're doing in, uh, in the Programa Avellaneda from this... Uh, we were house. talking the other day, like... Come on. The Programa Avellaneda of this faculty, what he pointed out is the need to see 
si las concepciones profesionales son iguales a las concepciones eh, eh, que tiene la comunidad sobre factores que pueden incidir eh, o perjudicar la salud, si es que hay una equivalencia y las categorías que se desprendan de ambas visiones, si son equivalentes o no, hay una investigación que se está haciendo eh, dentro del programa Avellaneda, que es la que tiene como investigador principal Enrique Zaforcada, y que se llama visualización de factores eh, psicosociales por parte de la comunidad que, eh, en la consideración de, del perjuicio de su salud. O sea que este mismo tipo de cosas que él propone se están haciendo acá. We were talking yesterday at that link about a study uh, that would be really interesting, I think, from uh, your own local perspective as well as the perspective of uh, cross-cultural psychology, and that's why one of the reasons why I made this. Sí, se cayó el tablero de la idea de un proyecto justamente de un. It was common. Estudio que podría ser interesante, y eso es lo que vamos a citar ahora. The the people that you know, the the. the uh, Relatively uneducated uh, people around the world, the, uh, the non-medical people, non-psychological people, uh, don't really know exactly what a psychologist or a psychotherapist or a counselor does. It would be interesting to use a hundred cards or fifty cards using words like this. Ask people to pre-sort the cards. To put, it, to put the cards in how, how many other files they want, as long as they describe their cognitive map of what a psychologist is. Dice que sería interesante poner estas palabras en tarjetas, bueno, la técnica que explicó antes, o sea, bueno, en tarjetas y que la gente vaya ubicando en filas diferentes y todas las que quiera su concepción de lo que es un psicólogo. ¿O qué hace? ¿Qué, qué hace? Let's, let's go completely across the world almost, to Australia. Esto es Australia. Central Australia and Aboriginal perspectives of disturbed behavior. Estas son las perspectivas que tienen los aborígenes de Australia Central sobre lo que es comportamiento perturbado. Central Australian linguistic groups use the same word for someone who is deaf or mad. Both of whom are not responsible for actions cannot, and, not, and cannot control themselves. Los grupos lingüísticos de Australia Central usan la misma palabra para alguien que es sordo o que es loco Ninguno, y consideran que ninguno de los dos son responsables por sus acciones y no pueden controlarse. Por ejemplo, en el desierto del oeste de Australia, somebody who is deaf or mad is simply Rama. La persona que es sorda o loca es Rama. Uh, example. My sister, like that, midnight, came out and had Rama Rama. Talk all the time, next morning, right. Can't remember who you talking. Can, can, can hear, but can't hear. Bueno, know. sí, estoy introduciendo esto porque es un lenguaje especial, pero digamos, mi hermana, sí, de, en mitad de la noche se puso loca, Rama Rama, habló todo tiempo, a la mañana siguiente, bien. No se puede acordar. ¿A quién ella vos hablar? Puede escuchar, pero no puede escuchar. Apparently, the concept for confused thinking, or however else it might be representative in the Aborigines' head, can get by with the simple phrase Rama Rama. Aparentemente, el pensamiento confuso, o lo que ellos consideran en los aborígenes el pensamiento confuso, se puede expresar con Rama Rama. Rama encompasses a broad range of behaviors. For example, all those kids are Rama Rama today. Por ejemplo, dice que expresa muchas formas de comportamiento. Por ejemplo, todos esos chicos están hoy Rama Rama. Quiere decir, chicos, que están inquietos. Another Rama Rama here, I'm dogs fighting. Hay otro Rama Rama aquí. Había perros peleando. Don't listen to me, I'm Rama. Dice, no me escuchen, estoy Rama, pero es como... One old man, he got a raw. Notice the language here is very primitive. He just run away, tried to look for him. He 
couldn't sleep. Come back self. Rama. The final one here. P petrol sniffers, gasoline sniffers are Rama Rama too. Don't listen if you talk to them. Dice, los que huelen petróleo, nasta, están también rama rama. No escuche lo que les dice si les habla. O sea, se refiere a la intoxicación. Can you imagine the difficulties of diagnosing an Australian Aborigine if you have DSM-3 in your hands? <laughs> Imagínense la dificultad de diagnosticar a estas personas con el DSM-3. The diagnosticians will go rama rama. El diagnosticador se volvería rama rama. Uh, culture specific depressive orders. The Hopi Indians in the United States. The Hopi Indians are a fairly large group of Indians in the, in the southwestern part of, Mexico, uh, of the United States, living in Arizona. New Mexico, part of California, but primarily in Arizona. They have five categories of depressive illness. The woman tutu ya unibu. Simply deep worry. Profunda preocupación es esto. Feeling of low self-worth. El sentimiento de baja autoestima. One of the major causes, by the way, of alcoholism among American Indians. Dice que esta realidad es una de las causas mayores del alcoholismo entre los grupos indígenas de Estados Unidos. Then there is the second one, Kahalai. Kahalai sería otra categoría. Loss of the mind. Perder la cabeza, la mente. A contempt for others, a loneliness, a cognitive disorientation. Desprecio de otros, eh, soledad, eh, desorientación cognitiva. Depresión en dos. This, this seems to be consistent. This, this would seem to be fairly consistent with the the DSM-3 definition of a major depressive disorder. Claro, dice que esto tiene bastante está de, relacionado con el diagnóstico de, de SM3 de trastorno depresivo mayor. Then there's hunatutia uh, or drunken life. Esto es bueno, hunatutia es como si estuviera borracho. This, uh, especially in the presence of alcohol, and it could also define drug-induced states as well as uh, the manic part of bipolar disorder. Excuse me? Dice que esto también, bueno, sería estar loco, pero sin alcohol, pero también se refiere a cuando se hace drogas, se por drogas, y también la parte maníaca del trastorno bipolar, del trastorno bipolar. Then there's the another one, the the ino moki ota, spiritual or psychogenic death. Eh, bueno, esto sería eh, la muerte espiritual o psicogénica. This is the psycho, this is apparently the somatization component. Esto sería el componente soma, somático de and la then, depresión. And then cobiste, cobiste, or willful suicide. Eh, es un suicidio de la voluntad. Now this, this kind of a schematization is also based upon the kind of methodology that gets into the cognitive maps. Sí, esto también este, entra dentro de los mapas cognitivos de la gente. Es una forma de categorizar que, tiene, que está now, dentro de los mapas cognitivos de la gente. Now, back to the, uh, back to the, the kind of the major theme of universals versus culture specifics. Acá volvemos al tema, gran, al gran tema de universales versus some of you may know the work of people like Gardner and, sí, Lindsay, Gardner. Mm -hmm. and many other anthropologists and 
clinical psychologist who have tried to understand the relationships between culture and uh, abnormality. Dice que son psicólogos que han tratado de ver cuál es la relación entre eh, psicología cultural y abnormalidad. Many believe, many of them, many of the experts believe that if you go to, if, if you are, a, if you happen to be an expert diagnostician, Muchos expertos consideran que si uno es un diagnosticador experto, and you are skilled at observing human behavior, y uno tiene habilidad para observar el comportamiento humano, and you're sensitive, y uno tiene sensibilidad, that you can probably be accurate to the, to the extent of about 75% of the time in picking up major categories of uh, mental distress or emotional illness. Dice que uno puede llegar a más o menos descubrir al 75% de las enfermedades mentales y de las diferentes dolencias psicológicas. En otras palabras, no solo son las señales behaviorales, sino las señales behaviorales de las enfermedades como la depresión y la esquizofrenia, pero a la extensión que estas son biológicas, no se puede disfrazar con la cultura. Dice que no solamente hay cuestiones comportamentales de la diagnóstico de depresión y esquizofrenia, sino que desde el momento que son biológicos hay ciertos aspectos que no pueden ser disimulados. Pero sugiere que tal vez el 75% de la accuracia sería con respecto a decir si una persona es, por ejemplo, depresiva o esquizofrenia o ansiosa. Entonces, sugiere que se puede tener un 75% de la accuracia sería con respecto a decir en el diagnóstico si una persona está tiene esquizofrenia o está deprimida o está ansiosa. They suggest about another 15% of the time you'll be you'll be accurate enough to say that person I don't know what's wrong with that person but he or she does not seem to be normal. Dice que un 15% de las veces más o menos vamos a poder decir no sé bien qué le pasa a esta persona pero no parece ser normal. Then about five or ten percent of the time, it suggests that people just can't understand what's going on. People cannot understand what it is at all. Now back to the idea of uh, uh, the universal versus the relative. You, you are all you have all heard the words etic and etic. With regard to the etic-anetic aspects of social phobias, this is represented by or illustrated by the Japanese condition, as known as hygiene kyokushu. Bueno, para estudiar esto de los aspectos eticos y éticos de las fobias sociales, esto está, digamos, se utiliza como ejemplo un illness, una social phobia. Una, sí, la, la fobia social es este, una enfermedad social, digamos, eh, que en japonés se llama Daijin Kyokushu. Now, it appears that uh, the etic aspects appears that wherever you go, when, when, when social phobia is present, there's going to be at least those two components of a certain amount of anxiety and a certain amount of fear of rejection. And what can be more clear than what a person with a social phobia fear, uh, uh, manifests or fears? Anxiety in the presence of others. Sí, o sea, lo que realmente una persona que tiene una fobia social más claramente manifiesta and, es ansiedad en la presencia de los demás. And probably an anxiety in the presence of others because of, of a fear of being rejected. Y probablemente esa ansiedad en la presencia de los demás se debe a un temor de ser rechazado. But in Japan, Pero en Japón, there are emic bonds of this. Hay this, componentes emicos de esto. And this is where the relativism comes. And this is where it would be difficult for a Western diagnostician to pinpoint exactly what's wrong with the Japanese because he would not have the cognitive map of the Japanese. Now, 
determinar exactamente qué es lo que le pasa a una persona japonesa porque no tendría el mapa cognitivo necesario. For example, there's a great fear of eye contact. Hay un gran temor de contacto visual. A great fear or concern about body odor. Una gran preocupación acerca de los olores corporales. And there's extremely easy blushing. Y se ruboriza muy fácilmente. Now, those three things might appear elsewhere as well. Esas tres cosas también aparecen en otros lados. But, but they do not appear with equal frequency. Pero no con la misma frecuencia que aparecen en Japón. As anxiety and fear of rejection. Eh, que no aparecen tan frecuentemente en Japón y tanto como ansiedad y temor al rechazo. En otros países no aparecen con tanta frecuencia estos tres componentes como en Japón. So that's. Uh, That's just an example then of relativism, universalism on those some of the major dimensions. I have that fifth category that I wanted to go through. It's, it's a little bit after one o'clock. Maybe if we meet again from two until four, I go into the fifth category because it's a radical change anyway. It deals with instead of mental illness and stress and so forth, it deals with the same kind of theme, however, and that is the uh, major dimensions. Apparently, universal dimensions of psychotherapy. Bueno, dice que la, el quinto aspecto que quiere hablar, por caso, a lo mejor hablamos más tarde, porque de cualquier manera se diferencia bastante de esto, porque habla más bien de la psicoterapia, de las dimensiones mayores universales.